In one of my last videos, I taught a really simple card trick and a lot of people enjoyed it. So uh, I think for this one, we'll do another one. But this one, uh, a lot easier. This is just like a math kind of a trick. So let's do it. Um, have, as long as you have 52 cards, this will always work. I'll spread through like this. You'd have somebody touch a card or whatever. I'll look away. Eventually, they'll touch something. Uh, remember that card. It's going to be a while before we get back to it. So burn it into your memory. Now, someone's saying, oh, we shuffled it to the top of the bottom. I'll look away. I, it may be on the top of the bottom. That would be by pure luck. But the whole point is, it doesn't matter where the card is. As a matter of fact, to prove I don't know where it is, uh, we'll do what's known as a casino wash. All right. 52 cards in a deck. That's all that matters. If you're playing with a full deck, you should be able to figure this out. Um, they're all mixed up. And again, of course, someone's saying, oh, when he reached over to the side of the, he pulled extra cards and shut, just shut up. Like, literally shut up. I'll look over my You can see the card that you originally selected somewhere in there. No extras of that card, whatever. All this crazy stuff I have to do. Uh, you're going to take, uh, well, of course, after you shuffle, give the cards a cut. That's important. And then we need nine cards for this. It's a mathematical property with nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Uh, after that, you can either use dice. Uh, we need a number one through 13, right? So dice would get you two through 12. Uh, or you, since playing cards are one through 13, you can just cut out a random card, right? So we'll just use a random card, pluck something out. Nothing in my hands. We'll just plug this card. Sevens. We need seven cards in each pile. You can shuffle these cards up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. This is the part that is crazy. We don't know where your card is. It could be over here. It could be under these. It could be in this pile. But this is this blows my mind. You are going to count from top to bottom for all these values. Jacks are eleven from top to bottom. One, two. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Then 2. 1, 2. And then 11 for this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. You want to see something crazy? This should be your card. Now, I don't know if I'd have to watch it back to see, but if I have 52 cards here, that was the card that was originally selected. Actually, I'm positive because... It's math, it has to work. So it's an incredible trick, but uh, try it out. You'll see that it blows people's mind. And remember, 52 cards, you have to have exactly 52 cards for this to work. Follow the directions, it'll work every time. In the comments, let me know what cards you picked.